Okay, so I'm just selecting the folder, dragging and dropping it. Um, I'm just plugging my mouse in. Okay, so the first thing that I do, because like the thing, um, like move it around and like have a look where it is. And then I'll go on the left hand side there and click the top view. And from the top view, you can see like it's obviously not the top view. So then what I'll do is I'll click that funny little thing up there and I'll select the different like X and Y axes um, or axes, whatever you want to call it. And I'll like move it um, into place. I'd recommend like actually changing it to X and Y and Z and not just doing it on the X, Y, Z because when you do it on the X, Y, Z, it'll adjust all the other ones. So you can see that like I've changed the view on, on the left-hand side again. Um, so I can like give it a side view and then look, you can see that it's like not straight. So then I'm like adjusting it and I'm going back and forth and adjusting it until it looks right because obviously, and it's like really frustrating because like every angle you look from, it's always, it's always different. So you keep having to go back and like go in, change it and then fix it again. So you can see I've checked it. Then I right click on the mouse to move it up, right? I think it's better. So now this is where we're going to cut it. So I click the scissors and see you've got the polygon and the rectangular. So I'm going to do the polygon one first for like organic shapes. So you're going to click and you're just going to keep clicking on the different points, like going around there to like you kind of get your shape. And then um, what you want to do is right at the very end, um, not click left click but right click on it so you close that shape if you don't do that it won't cut so then I'm going to click the red one with the green outline so it's going to cut inside the lines can you see and then I press tick and it's done and then it'll turn into like a segmented uh it's good to rename them but because it's just like a quick example I'm not like renaming them so now I'm going to go back into the cutting tool um, and this time I'm going to like click the down arrow and do a rectangular section. Um, so same preface, you just click and drag. Um, so I'm just going to do the wardrobe you just click, drag. And then again, you're going to right click to close that circle. Again, if you don't right click, it's, it's not going to let you cut it. Um, but there, look, like we've cut it. And again, it's like another segmented and it's like come out of like the remaining segment if that makes sense so then I'm going to do the polygon tool again and I'm just going to show you uh, the other cutting tool um, like it doesn't really matter too much but, um, but just in case you need it so I thought oh, I'll just show you the walls so again right click on the very end and then I've clicked the other one see and it cuts on the outside of the lines and not the inside of the lines this time um, so now it's the like the remaining bit is the inside and not the outside and then you're going to want to go in, you're going to turn the colors off. You're going to go into edit. Oh, I'm cleaning it first, but it didn't really work. Um, but usually what you do with that, and then it'll take all those like funny little edges off of the side. So do you see it's like really spread out, but I didn't heighten the number enough for it. So it, it didn't really do much. So sorry, I showed you, but it didn't, didn't do much. Um, yeah, so you're going to go colors, set unique, and you can just pick whatever color and then press OK. Turn the layers off and then go to the next one. So like you kind of work on them separately. Um, so this one, instead of doing the colors, uh, you turn like the colors off, but I thought I'd show you how to do like all the gradients. So you've got to first use the PCV thing. Um, I'm not quite sure what it does, but I guess like it gives it, it gives it more like definition, I guess, and makes it a bit more solid. Not a hundred percent sure. Um, that's what happens. But then you go into the edit scalar fields and you go to gradient. Uh, I just always pre press yes. Don't quite sh know what that means, but you know. <laughs> so then when you scroll down on the left bar here, um, like you've made a scalar field and you scroll down, uh, you can adjust the color. So at the moment it's at the blue green, but then see so you can like make it gray, uh, you can turn it red. And all that. I'm not going to do red because we did red for the wall. So I'm going to do the purple one because I, I like the purple one. It's like my favorite one. So now I've like turned the layer on, but this is where I made a mistake. I've turned the layer on and now I've edited the wrong one because I was still, I'd still had the other one selected. Don't do that, please. <laughs> so yeah, I've just like gone in color and then I've gone grayscale. So now I'm going to do the PVC on this one again. And we'll, I'll show you how you can like edit the different gradients. 
So, because obviously you don't want it grey. Uh, so you scroll down, you pick the pick a gradient, and then you've got that colour bar on the bottom left. So if you move that, you can see how like it'll adjust the colours of that PVC that you've got selected. See, like it, you can either like heighten it and blend it more. Or you can completely like slowly take it away. I'm like just trying to find a colour that's not not red because we don't want them to clash. But yeah, there's the orange. So it's like done and you can kind of look at it and it's really cool. Like you'll see with the PVC, the items are like a lot more defined versus like, for example, that red one where we just took the color away and added, like changed the color. Um, it's not as like solid. So take a screenshot, it's simple. And then when you want to save it, make sure that you select all of your pieces to save it because if you don't, then it's not gonna work it'll only select save that one thing that you've got selected and then it doesn't matter really what format I find bin is the most practical especially if you're gonna like be changing it uh like sending it to other people um but I think that e57 uh is what you use for like uh putting it back into meta shape 